I woke up this morning and I was feeling kind of sick. So, I don't know, I think it's a virus that I picked up in Vietnam because I was feeling kind of ill on my last day in Vietnam. And then uh, the fact that I didn't sleep for two nights in a row because of the Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year, like I stayed up really late and then I got up the next morning to watch the Super Bowl. And then the next night, I went to bed early, but then I got up at 4.30 to take my flight. So I was feeling kind of sick. The, the hostel said that they provided breakfast, but that ended up just being toast. And I can't have toast because it's not gluten free. But there's a nice guy there at the hostel who bought eggs. And so he gave me two eggs. So I cooked myself some scrambled eggs. So that was really nice. And then I ate that breakfast with this Buddhist monk from Sri Lanka, which was kind of cool. Never had breakfast with a monk before. So I'm now walking to try to find the metro station because I'm going downtown to go to the gardens of the bay, which are these really famous gardens here in Singapore. Like I said, Singapore is really expensive, so I ended up forking up $23 just for these gardens. They're supposed to be cool, but still, $23 is absurd. Um, also, I did laundry for the first time today, or at least I, I gave the hostel my laundry for them to do. Um, in Southeast Asia, in Cambodia, Vietnam, laundry was a dollar per kilogram everywhere, but sometimes two dollars per kilogram. Here, it's twelve dollars. So, I, I walked around yesterday, I couldn't find anywhere else to do it, because I thought there must be some cheaper way to get my clothes washed but there wasn't, so I had to spend $12 on my laundry. So basically, <laughs> it's really, really expensive here. But I think this is the MRT. Yeah, this place is just ridiculously fancy. It's very, very different than all the other cities that I've been to so far. Look at this. When I got to the gardens, the first thing I had to do was just sit down because my energy level is really, really low right now. So yeah, and it's not fun. Okay, I'm gonna walk and try to find some food. This food here is like 10, 15 dollars, and I think I need to rest some more. So I'll sit down and get some food and then I'll go and check out the gardens of the bay. It's like the actual, there's like a botanical garden. So I'm gonna go there next. It's so fancy. I found the food court, which I thought would be cheaper, but most things here are like $10. Um, but, and the cheapest one that I've seen is six. Okay, I just had lunch. I'm feeling a bit better. I still have a bit of a headache, and I'm a bit dizzy, but the stomach cramps are gone. So at least I have that. Um, and now I'm gonna head over to the Botanical Gardens. That was the first stop. I think I'm gonna save the second one for later. So maybe I'll come back in a day or two and then do that. So right now I'm just gonna go find somewhere to sit down and read my book. I forgot to mention earlier when I was talking about the prices here that the, uh, I was talking about Singapore dollars. So $12 for the laundry is actually only 8.5 US dollars. But still, that's eight times more than it was in Cambodia. Even the bathrooms are fancy. Yeah. It's too much, it's too much. I laid down to take a nap, which ended up turning into a four hour sleep. And when I woke up, there were people all around me. And it turns out that I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And I witnessed this light show that happens every night, I think, in Singapore. It's very peaceful walking around the gardens at night. Um, it's a big, very big change from Vietnam, where I was a couple days ago. It's quite nice here. 